Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 23rd through the 29th. What we have coming up for you on Monday is the Knight of Cups showing up in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse is just telling me that on Monday you're going to be feeling pessimistic about either the romantic relationship that you're in or about people in general. <laughs> kind of the blahs about how people are and how they treat each other or like I said maybe just feeling like maybe the relationship that you're in is not going so well and not feeling like you can see a good solution to um, getting it to move forward in a positive direction. Um, the good news about this is that this type of feeling uh, does not have to be a permanent feeling. Many times it's very transitory, so you just want to keep that in mind if you do start feeling that way, um, that it doesn't have to be a permanent thing just because it shows up. It's just a mood. It's just a feeling. All right, so um, Tuesday what we have showing up is the Queen of Coins. And the Queen of Coins is generally somebody that you are going to be dealing with probably a female for most of you, but for a few it'll be a male. Queen of Coins is somebody who has a nurturing personality, somebody who um, has their stuff together as far as resources and finance, um, who likes to help other people um, to further themselves, especially um, she just likes to help people in general, but especially she likes to help people so that they can move forward in a positive direction. And so I see her coming in and wanting to do something nice for you on Tuesday. She could just want to take you to dinner and be able to talk to you, or she could want to do something um, that is more um, substantial as a kind of help. She might also just want to give you some advice and not actually give you anything tangible. But I do see her coming into your life on Tuesday with some good intentions, kind of some nurturing feelings towards you, wants to help you propel forward in some level or another. Okay, so Wednesday, what we have, and for a few of you that could be you, but I feel like for most of you it's someone you're dealing with. Now on to Wednesday, we have the Nine of Clubs showing up here. The Nine of Clubs really just shows that there's a project that you've worked on and it's complete, it's run its course, it's done everything that it needs to do, and now on Wednesday you're just kind of packing it all up and putting it away. It's over with. So you're just taking care of business, getting that out of the way so that you can move on to the next project. It really is just the tying up of loose ends and, and putting things away. Then on... Thursday, you have the Six of Swords showing up, and the Six of Swords talks about moving away from some kind of old or some kind of negative influence. Um, this could be that the project that you finished, this could be moving away from that project. You got it all, the loose ends tied up on Wednesday, all packed away, and Thursday you could be um, just letting that go, just moving away from it and moving in the direction towards the next big project that you want to work on. Uh, bah, bah, bah. The other thing that this could be is if this is talking about a relationship, this is moving on from an old relationship that maybe you used to be attached to, and now you're just, you've realized that it's just not what you want in your life anymore and moving on from that as well. So it could come in either way for you, Libras. Friday, Queen of Swords showing up in reverse. The Queen of Swords in Reverse is somebody that you're going to be dealing with on Friday and she's somebody that has seen a lot of trouble in her life and she has managed to learn from those things that she has seen and really glean some major wisdom from those things that she's seen. Now she is highly, highly intelligent, really good at putting information together and um, getting from the 2 plus 2 makes 4. She does that quicker than most people. And when you see her coming in on Friday, I feel like she has been through the ringer. Something has happened. And she has really um, come through a difficult situation. And so on Friday when you see her, it looks like she's coming into a place now where she's processed what she's 
had in her life that was like this. It feels like there was something that was traumatic for her. She's processed that, or at least most of the way, and she's coming to a point where she's starting to see that she can uh, move on from that and she can be happy and move forward in a positive direction. So she's starting to see light at the end of the tunnel whenever you're interacting with her on Friday. Saturday, what we have showing up is we have the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is not my favorite card. For some of you, I feel like this is actually a backache. You see where the guy's hand is right by his back, by his lower back? For some of you, this is a backache, and I feel like for those of you that this is a backache, we are talking lower back right near where his hand would be. Um, but also, Swords cards really have to do a lot with communication, with thoughts, when we have a 10, we have an ending, which leads to a new beginning. So to me, this can be um, a conflict that's been long-standing that is coming to an end um, on Saturday. And the long-standing, when a conflict like this is as long-standing as it is, it's almost, even if you lose the conflict, it's still kind of a relief not to still be putting energy into that conflict. So we have that type of energy coming in as well for you Libras on Saturday. So it could be just a backache for some and an ending of a conflict for others. Uh, for some of you, this will be a conflict with other people. For some of you, this is going to be an internal conflict and you will be finding out some information on Saturday that really brings an end to that inner struggle that you've been having. That information will kind of seal the deal for you. Okay, no more conflict here. This is how I'm going to go with that situation. Um, the other thing that this can be is this can be um, having a lot of people sort of coming at you with their ideas about how you should be doing things. You know, they don't have enough on their hands running their own lives. They think that they should run your life as well. And so, um, joy, joy, happiness, just to hear all of this stuff, right? <laughs> so that's the other thing that it comes in as when that Ten of Swords shows up, is this can be people just telling you just how you've messed everything up and how you need to do this and you need to do that. And um, honestly, you can't pay attention to that stuff, guys. Nobody has to answer for your life after you kick the bucket but you. All these people that are telling you what to do, they don't have to answer for your life. You do. So it's really important to do what you feel is right. <laughs> they can have their opinions as long as they want. But since they don't have to answer for your life, you're the one that has to be responsible and accountable for what you do. And, you know, I think when we get to the end and, and we are answering for our life, whether we're answering to ourselves or whether we're answering to a great creator, I don't think we're going to really feel very good about saying, well, I did that because so-and-so told me to. I can just imagine how I would feel if I would have to say that at the end. I hope I don't. <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's what Saturday looks like. A few different ways that could be coming in. Sunday, what we have coming up is the Falling Tower in Reverse. And if you're going to get the Falling Tower, it's much better to get it in reverse than right side up. The Falling Tower in reverse just means that there was a situation in your life that you felt very safe and secure with and that that situation had been just kind of yanked out of your life quickly and unexpectedly. And so when the card comes up in reverse, what's going on is whatever that situation was, you're starting to look around and see that you have opportunities to replace that situation and that these opportunities are actually better for you than the situation that got yanked out of your life. So actually, it's really a positive card. <laughs> Believe it or not. So there you go, Libras. That's your week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by and hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your wonderful support. Thank you to all of you who wondered what happened to me last week and sent me emails just checking to see if I was okay or not. I really do appreciate all of you. Everyone have a fantastic week, and I will see you back here the next time around. Peace out.